What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to put to the test probably the best nail clippers that you can get for your dog. So what's so special about this nail clippers? Well right here in the back there's a little stopper so that way you don't cut your dog nail too deep so that way it doesn't bleed. And right here you press it and that way it can close and open and if you lock it right here, boom. That way you put the nail in and chop it, but that way you're not going to get too deep. Let me show it to you with the chopstick. So you put your nail in and then chop it and only take off very, very little bit. Without this little guide, what you can do is go a little bit too deep and chop it off and make your pet nail bleed. So you put this guard on if you have not too much to cut off the nail and then you can clip it without worrying going too deep. So much better and very very sharp at the same time. And right here there's file. If, if you want to file after you clipped it your dog nail there's a file as well. But my favorite part is right here that it really helps you not to go too deep so that way you don't make your dog nail bleed. Alright, let's start to clip gas nails. They are pretty long now and see if it works. So all his nails are actually really nice and not sharp because they dig and run outside on the asphalt sometimes. They get sharpened up. But over here at the end that does not touch the ground, they are really really sharp and they can cut you. So is this one, this one even sharper. It's like a claw almost, it's not even a nail. So this is what we want to clip, the sharp ends. And some dogs don't get to go outside as much and don't run outside, their nails get really, really sharp. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to clip those nails. So you see this nail, pretty sharp. You only want to do the end of it. And with this guide, it helps a lot. Boom. Clipped it a little bit. There you go, and now it's not sharp anymore. Now I can take this out and smooth, smooth it out. So that way there is no sharp ends. Good boy. This is his first time taming nails. What Gus, you think we're done? We gotta do one more nail, that's it. The rest of your nails are very nice and not sharp at all. If you look at this nail, as you can see, it's pointy, it's very sharp. That's the nail that you want to clip because it's going to cut you every time, not even on purpose. And when you try to clip it, and if the dog don't like it, you can clip a little bit too much by mistake. But this one have a guide. You see, he won't let me, it's okay. He come down finally. Ooh, do you see how he pulled? and he could have pushed instead. I'll clip it a little bit more. So you put the nail in like this, and boom, clipped it. And that way I didn't get it too deep, because that way, yeah, get your, get your own nail. You, you don't like that. And now it's not sharp at all. And then you can just actually use a file and file it up more, but he don't need to be filed, he's good. Look, don't mind nail clipping at all. He's so calm and nice. Right here, his back nail as well, very, very sharp right here. If you're gonna pie a kid or somebody, he might bleed them. So that's what you wanna watch out to clip. You put the nail in like this, it cannot go any deeper, so that way you don't clip too much. And boom. And it's very, very soft, just like this one. Good boy, look, good boy. Hugo, come here. Let's check out your paws. Again, whoa, this one is pretty sharp. Uh-uh. You see how he jumps? Up? Hugo, sit, stay. Okay, I'm gonna do it real quick. Boom. You see, it was easy. Stay. And then one more nail right here. 
Good boy, you're doing so much better now. You see, I don't have to worry about too much putting this too deep and cutting his too much of a nail. So this is amazing. It's also perfect for the iguana. If you look at his nails, they have those really, really sharp hooks. So I gotta clip them once in a while. Just a tiny little bit. And just like the dogs, you don't wanna clip them too much. You see, this is very, very sharp. You see, just like that. Very, very little bit. All the sharp nails. Good obvious, good obvious, good obvious. So as you can see, it will work for not just dogs, for a lot of animals. You see, he's going to have very, very sharp nails set here as well. Some of them sharp, some of them not. So you only want to clip the sharp ones. You don't have to do all of the nails. You see? Very, very little bit. So that way whenever you grab him, he's not going to mess you up with a very sharp claws. This one, there's still a hook, but it's not sharp, so I'm not going to cut it. He's super nice. Right now, 